Okay, for our next step, we're gonna take our ulula jaw, okay, we have our top and our bottom, okay, and we have to get rid of this meat. So, the easiest way to do this is to boil it. You can boil it inside your house on your stove, but uh, this stuff can be pretty stink. So, if you're like me, and uh, your wife doesn't like this smell in her house, just get one of these burners when you go camping. These uh, normal butane burners. Nice pot full of water, and you can do it outside, and you don't have to worry about the smell or clean up. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place it in there, and we're letting it uh, boil for about five to 10 minutes, or until the meat starts to turn white and it starts to curl and actually lift off of the jaw. So we'll just hang tight. Okay, it's been about three minutes and you can see how the bone is just exposed and the, uh, the meat is just sort of coming off. Let's look at the other piece. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. Uh, all the meat is just coming off. And you can see the jaw real good right there. Okay, so we're going to leave it in for another few minutes and then it should be ready. Okay. Alright, now here's the other half of the jaw. So, the top jaw is gonna look like that, as you can see, right? So like I said, there's actually a piece of cartilage here on the top and the bottom of Ulua's that allows them to flex the middle part of the jaw. So, here we go. We got the two parts of the top jaw. Okay. And here is our bottom jaw. It's got a lot more meat. You can start by just, whew, still kind of hot too. Everything, like, like I said, just falls off the bone. We're gonna just put it in there. This piece should come off. And once again, the bottom jaw will be in two pieces as well. There you go, and there's your bottom jaw. As you can see, this is the cartilage right here that holds the jaw together. You can see how it flexes. It allows the fish to not only open and close their mouth, but also widen their mouth for bigger prey. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and separate that because it's just cartilage. Okay. Now that we have our jaw pieces. We got the bottoms right here and we got the top here. What we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to put this in a little cup, a little plastic cup with a bleach solution like a 1 to 10 bleach solution just to sanitize this um, and just to make sure whatever meat's in there is gone um, it eats it all up um, also, you don't want ants and stuff coming to this thing later. You want this thing totally clean and, you know, um, free of any kind of bacteria and stuff like that. So, and it also give, it also kind of gives it a nice uh, white kind of look to it, nice bone look to it. So, the next step is to put this in a bleach solution. Okay, and then this is our ulua jaw from the umilu that we just cut up. You can see we have our top portion right there and the two pieces of the bottom portion like that okay there's our little 14 pound umilu ulua jaw okay and the next step will be the bleach solution okay so here it is I've got it in the cup with the bleach mixture 10 to 1 or you can put a little bit more, it doesn't have to be exact, just as long as it uh, um, gets some bleach in there. And I'm going to let this sit 
overnight and then we're going to work on putting this thing together and for that you're just going to need some epoxy okay so for now I'm just going to go ahead and let that sit